Brandon, is there an NFL team that you've always wanted to play for? Arizona Cardinals. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, don't look like on, that. <laughs> Why are you doing all that? The team that wants me the most, man. Uh, the oh, situation. God, here we I, go. Yeah, the situation I'm going to go into and benefit off of, not one that is going to have me go in there and expect me to be a number two. I'm not coming to play number two. I'm coming to take number one. Okay. All right, you gonna who be the number one receiver. Who was the team that uh, okay. was your like growing up though? Who was the team for you? You had a team, Arizona Cardinals. No, <laughs> <laughs> why are you trying to put that on me, man? I was a I was a dirty snot nosed Raiders guy, man. Okay, so so he asked you about the team. I'm asking you about the coast. Which coast would you rather play on, the East or the West? I feel like football on the East Coast it might be just a little bit better. You rather play on the East Coast? It's cold over there, but like in Florida, I go to Florida. You go to Florida. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go to Florida. Florida would be, yeah. I mean, Miami, Jacksonville, Tampa. Tampa. Well, if I was on the West Coast, then shoot, stay in Cali, maybe. Any one of the three teams. Rams, Chargers. There's only oh Niners. Mm hmm. I wouldn't uh, say that the Niners would be a best option. You don't want to do that, huh? Yeah. You don't want to do that? No, I do, but at the same time, it's like, you know, my, my pops already created a legacy over there, man. I'm trying to create mine. Then they would be talking about he needs to wear number 80 and all that, huh? Yeah, I'm not going for that. <laughs> if they drafted me, I'm not wearing 80. You got a number in mind? <laughs> Two, my own number. Yeah, we saw yeah. you wear that USC, all that. So, mm -hmm. But we know, I know both of you, we both have the feeling of being a, uh, the son of a former NFL wide receiver. Here's a clip of you explaining your experience. I'm Jerry Rice's son. Of course, everybody always tells me I look just like him. I don't even see the resemblance. I'm Jerry Rice's son. Of course, everybody always asks me for an autograph from my dad. Why not mine? <laughs> I'm Jerry Rice's son. Of course, every time my dad texts me, he ends the sentence with a goat emoji. I'm Jerry Rice's son. Of course, everybody always assumes that I'm rich, but my dad's a stingy for him away from Mississippi. I'm Jerry Rice's son. Of course, everybody always asks me that I catch bricks growing up. I'm Jerry Rice's son. Of course, every time I buy a new chain or anything like that, my dad gets really mad at me. He says I'm trying to be like the other flashy NFL athletes. Man, I felt that TikTok way too much, bro. <laughs> what would you say is the best advice your dad has given you throughout this draft process? Uh, you got to stay within the moment. Don't let the moment get too big. If you go ahead and stay within the moment, I appreciate sure you'll capture what, just what you're looking for. Wait, did, Jer did Jerry really tell you that you like the rest of these dudes wearing flashy chains? Yeah. Did he look in the mirror? He hates, oh, because he got that big old 49 Man, he, No, not only that, Jerry wore chains when he played hoop earrings and shit. Come on, Jerry. Man, he don't. You know, I'll tell you what I say. Come on, Jerry. You messing, <laughs> you messing with the little one, and you run around with a hoop earring in. Yeah, he gets mad at me, man. He gets mad at me. I, I always ask Pops, you go in with me on this chain? He don't be going for it at all. No, he got, he, because he got the old soul, you know, he grew up that differently. Mississippi farm Mississippi boy. Mississippi farm boy. You know, it was always, I mean, I remember having the opportunity to play against him for the first time uh, after he came back off his ACL. We played the 49ers when Here I was with ACL? the Jets. Yeah, he tore his ACL. He, he tore his ACL in, uh, this was in 97, I believe, he tore his ACL. And we played him, I feel like we played him in 98. Yeah, I feel like we played him. No, it might have been 99. Whatever year it was, 98 or 99, we wound up playing him in San Francisco. And so that was the first time I ever played against him and whatnot. And he came, you know, Jerry came running out the tunnel, everybody going crazy. I'm like, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch this. He got Al no. He 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 uh ran a shallow cross. And at this time they had a um baseball infield at the old stadium at Candlestick. It was still, I guess it was still baseball season because mm -hmm. it was opening day. And he caught a shallow cross. Motherfucker stopped on a dime in the dirt and shot back across the field, boom, into the end zone. I was like, oh yeah, he he healthy again. Yeah. Oh, he had some shit. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry was special. Brendan, in your opinion, what are the similarities and differences between you and your dad's game? Uh, I feel as though we got the same running technique, man. Uh, ability to stop on a dime, I'm going to have to get that to him and Keyshawn. I got to go ahead and pick up on that. But just that deep threat, uh, I feel as though I stretch the field at all times, and people are going to have to respect that. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry, I would say... 
you're more physical. Mm-hmm. You're more physical. Jerry just wasn't it just wasn't his deal. His deal was I'm gonna catch the ball and I'm gonna work you, um, and I'm gonna run around. I'm gonna make you fall because he made a lot of dudes fall. I, don't, I mean, I'm sure you watched and studied a lot of tape on him, but shit, some of the shit he used to do is just like bonkers. I'm like, damn, you know. And, and when you look at it, see, when you talk about like luck, for instance, the man plays with. Joe Montana. Steve Young. Joe Montana's pushed to the side. He goes, plays with Steve Young. Then he leaves and gets Rich Gannon when he goes to the Raiders. I'm like, damn. You got Sean just get me. What you say? You got Sean King. Yeah, man, stop, man. We're not, <laughs> yeah. we're not even getting ready to do all that. Cause I don't feel, <laughs> I don't feel like listening to Sean King tweet and talk shit and do. Because you know, Sean. you know, What's when up you with say, Sean, man? No, but you know, when you say something. About somebody, you know how y'all are. Y'all, y'all weak minded. Are y'all scared? And so, as soon as you say something about somebody, and you don't give them their credit, or you be like, "Yeah, I wish I would have had," they get mad. You know what I'm saying? They don't know how to. You know, it was Jerry Rice a better receiver than me? You goddamn right he was. I'm not mad. I don't care. I'm my my career is complete. But guys in professional sports, and you'll learn this as you continue to be in that locker room with dudes. You're gonna see dudes that it's gonna it's gonna be mind boggling things that they go through, they say, or they worry about you like, they paying you $30 million and you worried about somebody who's a jackass is talking about on Twitter or X or whatever the things are y'all use. TikTok and IG. What's the other one y'all do? Snapchat. I know you be on all that too. No, I don't have, ask my son, I don't have none of that. No Twitter? I don't have it on my phone. Uh Uh-huh. He has it. I I have it, but I don't have it. Okay, I respect that. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to listen to negativity and comments and Sit up all night long doing this shit while I'm, I'm trying to go to bed. Why? 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 I I don't, it's that. not even worth it. If one advice I could tell you it throughout my career is one thing I didn't do was worry about what the fuck other people said. Because they ain't living in my shoes. So I can never worry about that. I can't worry about if I was a bust, a bum, or this or that. I'm like, you know, they don't need to snap back. There's no need to. You you could never do what I did. Of course you can't. Uh, no, uh-uh. This I'm sure is, you are a bust. No, but I don't pay. You can't <laughs> listen to people. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they'll tell you, you know, they'll tell you, oh, you're not good or you're not this. And some people can't handle that. And it and, and it gets seeps in their mind. And they start doubting themselves. You know, you drop a ball, motherfucker sitting in the stands, he going to swear me down. You're the worst that ever. But he can't even... He can't even get on the field. Yeah. He don't even know how to lace up cleats. He's a fan for a reason. So I don't, I just, I refuse. I tell my son, I used to tell my son all the time, man, don't pay the motherfucking people no attention. They're miserable. Mm-hmm. And that's the advice I would give you. Don't pay them people no attention, man. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget, to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.